Subtract tickets when you respawn. Today I'm going to share with you a way you could respawn to where every time that you die it subtracts the tickets and when your total amount of tickets reach zero then it's mission over. We're going to start off by placing a player. We're going to put a player right here and next we're going to go to attributes at the top and then down to multiplayer. Next we're going to go to respawn and then and we're going to set this on respawn on custom position and then we're going to select the top setting which is mission fail when every one is dead then we're going to go down to select respawn position and then we're going to scroll down even further and we're going to choose subtract tickets upon respawn then we're going to go to respawn delay and we're going to set that for two seconds and that's all we need to do so just hit ok now we need to actually define where we are going to respawn and there's two ways to do that you could either place a marker and name the marker or you can go to f5 systems and choose multiplayer and then choose respawn position which is the respawn position module we're going to choose that and place that right here then we're going to edit it and in the variable name box we're going to put a name this is going to be respawn underscore west now just keep in mind that if you were playing as east then it would be respawn underscore east if you are on the independent side then it would be respawn underscore gorilla and if you're playing as civilian then respawn underscore civilian then we're going to set it as infantry and the side is going to be blue four and the rest is fine. So that sets up the respawn module. Next we're going to go to the map and we're going to copy this module. Let's control C and we're going to choose a couple spots where we're going to respawn at. So we're going to go here and we're going to place the respawn module here. And then we're going to go back to the map and we're going to go to another location. And this location is going to be over here. We will set this up right about here. Alright, that sets up our respawn module. And next what we need to do next is actually set up tickets that we're going to respawn from. So for that we're going to be in the F5 systems and then you're going to go down to where it says scenario flow and then you're going to go down to where it says respawn tickets. So you can choose that. You could just place it right next to the module, double click the module and you don't need a variable name all you need to do is put a number on the side or the faction side that you're on in our case we are blue four side and what we're going to do is we're going to place three for three tickets so this number could be as high or as low as you want so we're going to set up for th three right now and you're going to see how this works so we'll just hit okay that's all you have to do you don't have to sync it or anything that's basically it so next we're just going to go to save and save our scenario I'm going to put this on Livonia and we're going to name this subtract underscore respawn underscore tickets. All right, that saves our mission. And what we need to do next finally is go to play and set up a multiplayer server because you can't respawn in single player. So click on play in multiplayer. I already set up a server previously, so all I have to do is choose my AI and then just hit OK. All right, so once you get into your mission, with these settings that we set, you're going to look at this menu here. And this is the reason why I chose this to have the menu select. Because in the menu select, as you can see here, it says remaining respawns. This is your respawn tickets. So we set it for three. Now, if I choose to respawn at this position, which we will respawn, then the next time... I respawn we should see how many ticks, tickets will be left so what we're gonna do is just gonna hit escape and then choose respawn and as you could see on the menu again it says re remaining respawns is two so let's choose this one 
and hit respawn again and now we are here and if we press escape and hit respawn again you're going to see that remaining response is one let's go to this other respawn point and here we are so we just used up our last of our respawns and we ended the mission complete now you don't have to do three if you want to increase it obviously you just increase this number so let's say we increase this number to 25 you just hit OK so we'll save that play the mission and as you can see remaining response is 25 so if we choose let's choose over here and we hit respawn and if we hit escape and go to respawn again you're gonna see that we have remaining respawn 24 so it's counting down and let's respawn over here just hit escape again choose respawn and remaining response is 23 choose over here and we're back where we started so if we hit escape again and respawn then we're down to 22 all right guys I want to conclude that if you find this little respawn aspect uh, useful for more tutorials take a look at this playlist <laughs>